Hello and welcome back to the Barrett channel once again for a brand new video with your boy Ollie. Okay, so today I'm walking around Wanka shopping mall once again. I did get some comments about that one, thinking that was pretty funny last time I said it. And uh, it does take foreigners quite a while to get used to that one. Um, but I've said it many times now, so it doesn't sort of uh, make me laugh anymore. <laughs> but anyway, what are we talking about today? So. I basically just want to blab on, as I'm very good at doing, um, and sort of give you a couple of announcements, uh, what's going on with us at the moment. I, we have been back from Shanghai for now about five days. Um, some of you don't know that because the video I just recently released, um, which was talking, which was at Dongmen, the uh, food market in Shenzhen, about, um, what was it about now? I can't even remember. Oh yeah, being in the safest country in the world. Um, that was recorded before we went to Shanghai and I was talking about going. So a lot of people think we haven't been yet. And um, we did have, excuse me, there was a lot of comments about sort of, oh yeah, do this and that and advising us on things to do so we don't run into trouble whilst we're there. And um, we did take a card with us that we'd, translated all of our information where we've been where we live etc and it did help a great deal but still <laughs> being foreigners at this time in China we ran into some problems I can tell you that and we are going to be diving into these problems that we had and talking about kind of the whole lock off of you know foreigners entering entering China that happened on March 28th we're going to be diving into that talking about it a bit our experiences that we had in Shanghai. Some of them were interesting to say the least, some of them frustrating, um, but yeah, we'll leave that conversation for our live stream that I'm about to announce. So, before I do so, I just want to say thank you ever so much for all the people that are supporting our channel at the moment. Um, as you may have seen from our community posts and just the number of subscribers in general, the support has been just phenomenal recently. Like, can't thank you all enough. Like, it's just crazy. You know, <laughs> I don't know why so many people want to listen to us just blabbing on about how, the way we see the world and stuff, but it's amazing to see so many of you sort of finding entertainment, you know, value, joy, whatever it is that you get from these videos. Yeah. Thank you for watching. So we are, you know how previously we were doing the um, live stream every Saturday, uh, every Saturday morning, Friday night for the people on the east side, sorry, the west side of the world, um, which was with the three other YouTubers. That's no longer happening, so I'm not going to dive in too much to what happened, but uh, we had a gig, uh, so we couldn't make one of the weeks, and then uh, they had someone else to fill the position and it seems that they are now going to be going with that person permanently um, due to whatever, you know, sort of things, disagreement or whatever. But anyway, so we are starting up our own. And the beauty of that is that we can do things our own way. Um, we're going to sort of try and find what time works for us. Um, this week we are going to be going on Sunday morning China time, which is going to be uh, Saturday night on the west side of the world so i've just got to work out the times in my head now so as i said this live stream is going to be predominantly diving into um the topic of locking off foreigners to the chinese mainland um as of now um this live stream is going to be on what day is it today it's the third of april so this live stream is going to be airing oh it's just starting to rain how devastating is that it's going to be on 5th of April, China time, um, at half eight in the morning. Yes, yeah, a little bit of an early one. I'm going to walk the other way because I want to get some sh shelter here. Um, and that is going to be, what's that going to be? East Coast America, EST. That is going to be 8.30 p.m. That is going to be 5.30 p.m. PDT, Pacific time. And uh, what's that going to be? GMT. Um, that's going to be 1.30 in the morning. So if any of you are tuning in from Europe, you are true supporters. Obviously, we don't expect you to be there. And hopefully we can sort of do more live streams in the future that is catered towards your time. But sadly, we can't cater for everyone. 
Um, we, we really want to get as much interactivity with you guys as possible. Obviously, there are a hell of a lot of comments that flood in on these live streams. Um, the one that we did from Shanghai Tower last week, um, that was just, it went better than we could have ever expected. And, um, you know, the comments were flooding in. It was great to see all of you there. This time, all Super Chat questions will be answered and discussed thoroughly. So any questions that you guys may have that you want to see our perspective on maybe, um, sort of get some inside information or whatever, you know, just anything that you want to ask us, make sure you drop those Super Chats and we will discuss it thoroughly. Um, so thank you all very much in advance for tuning in. Hope to see as many of you as possible there. We are going to be linking this live stream down below because we will set it up uh, now so that you can set the YouTube reminder if you want to join in. So the other thing I just wanted to basically show you is we've had so many questions recently about sort of, you know, what it's like in China now. Um, you know, I've, I've even been asked by a lot of my friends and family back home. Uh, life is, I'd say, pretty much you know back to normal here in the sense that i can do i can do the things i want to do in my daily life however people are still taking precautions because you know it only takes a spark of lapse of concentration a lapse of precautions and bam it'll all be off again but we are um sort of staying aware of that and uh but but literally you take a look around now like so many people about and everyone's just it's literally back to chaotic Shenzhen in this area it was quite weird actually because we saw quite a big difference in Shanghai um, we'd say it was actually a lot more relaxed in Shanghai than it is in Shenzhen which was strange to see so that was like a week ago we were in Shanghai a week ago and we found that going into restaurants people there was a lot of people kind of gathering together and no one seemed to be too worried um, and here it seems to be you know a little bit more a little bit more on edge a little bit more tense about it but all in all you know pretty much every day now you know things again more and more back to normal and obviously we're very aware that that's not the case abroad so so we basically just want to try and use our platform to spread as much awareness and you know positivity about this you know pick up a hobby pick up a hobby that you you know something you are interested in that you might not have had time to do before um, make sure you're wearing a mask don't listen to people that are telling you not to because they definitely do help wash your hands more all that jazz my hands are literally getting bad eczema at the moment because I'm washing them so often but it's a good thing you know anyway <laughs> I don't know why I keep turning around here but um, my bike, my, my electric bike is over there, so I don't want to walk too far away from it because I'm going to get home and edit this straight away and it looks like it's about to absolutely downpour, so I don't want to get stuck in that. Um, we actually just went to something really cool that is happening here. D DHL, the um, freight company, they are, they've are they just set up an express service to be able to send, um, you know, masks and goggles and you know precautionary equipment um back home uh, back to other countries to export them so we've just gone and exported a bunch of um n95s masks back home which is nice so yeah god just the world is crazy right now and um we will get through this everybody we will get through this that's enough of me i'm sure you've had enough of me by now anyway um please do follow us over on our twitter and instagram as i keep saying that we are much more active over there as of recent um and you can sort of stay up to date with our daily stuff because i'm posting like little 15 second stories over on instagram and uh subscribe if you haven't already because there's a lot of people you watching who are not subscribed like this video please like this video and we hope to see you all tuned into the live stream on saturday night or sunday morning preparing depending on where you are in the world good morning good night take care everybody see you in the next one